Howdy guys, back here out on the range today. Today I wanna to talk with y'all about why I no longer shoot XS Big Dot sights. Uh, so this isn't a video that I'm not trying to bash XS at all. I've met those guys, they make a great product uh, and they are solid, solid people. They're here in Texas. Um, this is nothing against them. The products that they manufacture and they make are, are great. Um, uh, the issue that I have is with the concept of the Express sight. Uh, and the claim with the Big Dot or the Express side is that they're, they're faster in, in any light. And kind of the history of it was is uh, it was basically uh, used for big game hunting in Africa. They would take a, an ivory, uh, a big ball of ivory and stick it on the front of, uh, uh, of their big bore rifles to shoot, you know, Cape Buffalo and, then, and all that other stuff. And then that kind of transitioned into, uh, into the handgun, having that uh, kind of that golf ball out in front of the... Uh, in front of the gun and yeah it really does make uh shots makes that front side acquisition uh, a little bit easier a little bit better up front i want to tell y'all uh about kind of my experience and when i stopped using them so uh flashback to 2018 i am taking tom Givens instructor development class and from there we learned where uh you've probably heard the term flash sight picture uh at certain distances like five to seven yards and in all you need is a, fr a flash sight picture of your front sight and so kind of where that came about um, is uh, Colonel Cooper was one of the first ones that really taught that for for modern gunfighting but where he learned that from is uh, to my best understanding uh, is uh, back in World War II uh, when Britain uh, was getting bombed by the Nazis they would actually train uh, they would train people uh, by showing them flashcards of the silhouettes of planes um, they would show them these flashcards and then they would memorize it so well that as they saw these planes flying up ahead, they could tell, hey, you know, that's uh, that's a Spitfire or hey, that's that's this plane. And so essentially what they would do is if you think about it, as these airplanes are flying in the clouds, you might only have a split second to see that silhouette of the underneath. That's how they train those people. They'd show them these flashcards and just a split second, just seeing that flashcard, they say, oh, well, that's a, you know, a, a whatever. Um, so that's kind of where the flash sight picture came from. So we have to realize that at a certain distance, um, five, seven yards and in, uh, depending on your sights, all you need is a flash sight picture. You just need to see that front sight for a quick second. Um, and so I want to share with y'all a, a cool demonstration that Mr. Tom Givens did uh, that talks about um, you know, acceptable sight picture and flash sight picture at a close distance. Um, so uh, let's turn this around and we'll shoot the target. All right, guys, so what we've got, I've got my Glock 17. Uh, I've got some iron sights on here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shoot this silhouette target. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, with y'all at about five yards. Um, all you really need to see is your front sight. So I'm going to walk you through it as I shoot it, and then we'll come back and look at the target. Guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top of my front sight. I'm going to put it all the way to the far left of my rear sight. All right. Cool. I'm going to take my front sight, put it all the way to the right of my rear sight. I'm going to take the front sight all the way down um, in the rear notch. So top of the front sight all the way down. Now I'm going to put the bottom of the front sight at the very top so my gun's going to be pointed high. All those shots are acceptable hits in the eight inch circle. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that at this distance all you need to see is your front sight through your rear sights. As you see your front sight you press the trigger. So all you see your front sight, press the trigger. See your front sight, press the trigger. All you need to see at this distance is your front sight and press the trigger. Guys, I'm hoping that this demonstration has showed y'all um, that at certain distances, five, seven yards and in, depending on your gun, um, all you need to see is your front sight, regardless of what kind of sight it is. Um, and the great thing about just standard, uh, you know, post and notch sights, uh, as we back up, we're able to get a refined sight picture. We're still able to make uh, solid hits at distance uh, under um, uh, fa fairly quickly. That's the issue with big dots. Yes, they are close up front. There is no doubt about that. The issue with it, though, is that as you back out, you basically have no way to get a refined sight picture. And, and yes, you can shoot stuff at distance. I can shoot a you know, piece of steel with excess big dots at 50, 100 yards. Uh, it's going to take time to get that lined up, though. And in a gunfight, time is of the essence. So as I said, guys, this isn't a video uh, bashing excess. They're great people. They make good products. I'm mainly explaining why express sights uh, are kind of unnecessary if you understand flash sight picture, if you understand 
how to properly use your sights at close distances. Um, yes, they are quick up front, but they hamstring you, they handcuff you as you back out uh, to, uh, to greater distances. But nonetheless, guys, do the research yourself, uh, figure out what works best for you. And if you shoot big dots, great, um, then you know whatever, keep shooting them. Um, whatever best helps you shoot as well as possible, uh, that's what you should go with. So just trying to give y'all uh, my take on it, some lessons that I learned from uh, Mr. Tom Givens on um, just kind of sights in general. But nonetheless, guys, thank y'all for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.